Hey everyone, it's Matt here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to change the how to change the icon on your iDevice, how to change the app icons on your iDevice. So as you can see here, I have iBlank and it's just I know it's called iBlank and it's called that for a reason. Um but I want to change, let me let it focus. All right, I want to change and put a little question mark in it so that it looks a little cooler so that just so it's not so blank even though it's kinda like I don't know double negative or something like that but whatever so I'm gonna change that and just put a question mark right in the middle of it so you, you're gonna need two programs just you're gonna need a uh, picture editing software and iFunbox so iFunbox download will be in the underbar, so just download that, and when you're done, just come back here, and let's start. So, right now, you just want to open iFunbox, make sure your iDevice is plugged in to the computer, as mine is. So, let me just unlock my iDevice. Alright, and as you can see here on my computer, it has Matthew's iPhone. Alright, so you're gonna wanna gonna wanna open that and you're gonna wanna go to system applications. This is every app that you have. If you wanna go to user applications, that's every app that you down that you've downloaded. I've only downloaded a couple. It's not really a lot. Um, but the other ones could be all your uh Cydia apps and everything else, so yeah, I have Cydia, M I M, uh iBlank, YouTube, see how I changed the icon here. So I'm going to change eye blank. So as you can see here, there are three little icons right here. You're going to want to take those and drag them into a new folder on your desktop. We're going to call that folder eye blank icons. All right, so let me just take those three and drag them in here. All right, there we go. Now you're going to open up your uh, f photo editing device, and I'm going to open up one second. Alright, I'm going to open up a Photoshop CS5, 64-bit, and I don't know, my keeps locking. So let me just wait for this to open. So yeah, right now it's just there. So I'm just going to leave the camera there for just a minute. I'm trying to make this video one continuous shot. And then you just want to take your icons and drag them into Photoshop and they'll all come up one two and three so now I'm just gonna wanna make a question go to my text just gonna wanna make a text box so let the eh, there we go now just make a big question mark Is that too big I'm gonna go to 72 All right, now question mark. Gosh, this is a hassle sometimes because of the font. Here we go, just a question mark. I'm gonna make it in white, and I'm gonna do it in the font of 28 days later. Let's see if I like it. No, I can't do that. All right, <laughs> let me do diffused. Oh, that looks pretty cool. All right, and if I don't like it in the future, I'll just change it. All right, so there we go. Now I have this. Now let me turn on snap so I can put it in the center. Perfect, just like that. All right, now I'm just going to want to copy the question mark. Control T, and then copy, and then paste it. Oops. Paste it. Or I'll just, it's not working, so I'll just do, I'll just do another question mark. <clears throat> Alright, so diffused. Where is it at? There we go. Alright, so just like that. Snap is not on again, gosh. Alright, 
there we go. Now go to the other icon and text box 72 diffused question mark. Hopefully this time it, it'll fit. Wow, it just barely fits. Good. All right. So let me turn on snap again, make sure it goes in the middle. That looks good. Right there. Okay, so now you just want to go to and save all. Save as. Now you're going to save them on your desktop outside of where you did. And just save it as a PNG file for all of them. Okay. Save as. Desktop. PNG. Okay. No. Or okay, sorry. Okay, now save. PNG. On the desktop. Okay. Okay. There. Now you're going to want to go to the icons. One, one, two, three. They're all here. Sorry. See, you can see all of them. And you just want to, <clears throat> you're going to want to delete icon dash 72 and put one in, just one at a time. So delete one, put one in, delete one, put one in. Now, the one with the at sign on it. Copy. Right now, just icon. Delete. Right there. That is perfect. And now you just want to go to hit refresh a couple times. Then you're going to want to make it where you only see that. And then you're going to want to, want to right click on your iDevice. Go to safe removal. And then it will remove everything. As you can see, now my iDevice is ready. So, as you can see, it's still the same icon. So now you're just gonna gonna want to restart your device. So just turn it off. All right, just wait for it to turn off. A little loading bar. I'm ready to turn it back on. Come on, turn off. Sometimes it takes a while. This video is about seven minutes or eight minutes. All right, it's off now. So turn it back on. There we go. So just let it turn on. This might take a second. Um, also, watch out for a uh, video soon coming that's going to show you how to get the uh, logo, custom boot logo, right here. So, just this. There is no Apple. I do not know why that just came up on my computer. <laughs> Alright, I guess my computer's running a little slow. Alright, so you can close everything out. Make sure you keep these, the eye blank icons, and just in case you want to change it back. So, yeah, and then keep these, I guess. I'm just going to make a new folder here. Folder changed eye blank icons. Alright, so just drag these into there. Good. Alright, so now just let my eye device start. Touch, touch, touch. Alright. <clears throat> so, yeah, just letting it start. <laughs> Wait, I think it's going. Yeah, the brightness just went back down. There we go. So, just let it let it go because it takes a second it has to do syncing and stuff I'm not actually gonna let it sync though alright there we go don't mind that sorry alright and if you see if I just go down oh did you see it there we go. It is fine. It changed. 
And the reason it, do it does, let me let it focus. Sorry, the camera isn't focusing. All right, as you can see here, you did the question mark. And if it, the reason why it does three icons that you need is when you hold it in, it makes it bigger, and then it does another. So watch it, watch it go smaller. Whoops. Wait, let me try that again. All right, so when I hit this button, it goes smaller again. So yeah, that's that is the tutorial on how to change your app icons on your iDevice. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Also, remember to follow me on Twitter um, and subscribe to me on my YouTube homepage or on my YouTube channel for more videos and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, comment if you have any questions. And also, if you have any questions, email me. Feel free. Feel free to email me. My email is in my About Me box on my channel. And please also like this video. So, yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace.